During a tumultuous opening weekend riddled with rain delays and back-to-backs, Arizona State softball marched into Farrington for day two of the Kajikawa Classic and left with another win and another loss on their record. The Sun Devils started out hot Saturday night against Boise State as the first inning saw ASU take a commanding 4 lead. A Tanya Wendell single accompanied by doubles from Kayla Lissy, Sarah Kinch, and Kelsey Hall put Arizona State up early. However, ASU's momentum would fade as the Broncos made pitching adjustments and went on a big run in the third. ASU couldn't capitalize on opportunities at the dish later on as Boise State closed out, handing the Sun Devils a 6-4 loss in their first game of the day. Boise State, really great team, really great team. So just with these preseason tournaments, you know, get the job done that we need to get done with teams. Um, and then with the other tough teams, it's to see where we're at and what we need to work on. So um, obviously this week it's going to be working on a lot of things that went wrong. Despite the loss to open up the evening, ASU bounced back with a 9-1 dismantling of Maine shortly after to even their season record at 2-2. Senior Mac Osborne got in a groove and threw a career-high 10 strikeouts. But offensively, no star shine brighter versus Maine than Shannon Cunningham. The sophomore hit her second career home run and caused issues for opposing pitching all game. Yeah, Shannon um, struggled day one, and so uh, she came in, she worked extra, she did what she needed to do. She got a couple of tips from uh, Coach Kalaitis, um, and she applied it in the game. Um, and that's really all we can ask from the kids, right? That's the whole point of this, and so super proud um, that she got to reap the benefits of hard work. Another busy weekend lies ahead for Sun Devil softball as they'll kick off the Littlewood Classic against BYU on Thursday at 5.30. Reporting for Cronkite Sports. I'm Crawford McKinstry.